Hello everybody, welcome to a new modern video. I'm playing today Team Arenas, which uh, last time I've played it, it was with Lauren Revealed, uh, just before the PT, but we didn't have the technology of adding Flame of Honor. That was brought by Team Channel Fireball and Kai Buya made the top eight um, of the PT with the, the combination of uh, Flame of Honor Mutabolt, which uh, my friend uh, Kama used to uh, go 702 at the Four Seasons, which happened over the weekend. There was a 405, 404, I believe in Modern, a 405 in Legacy uh, People Tournament. Uh, and he said that he made the combination of Mutable Flame of Honor a lot of times. Uh, and, you know, that was uh, mostly uh, some of his uh, uh, part to the win. Especially with Shieldra being very popular, I think Flame of Honor is uh, needed uh, in this archetype. There's a lot of uh, interesting decision in this list. For example, one Bone Crusher Giant, three Dispute, two Subtlety, one Merc Tide, and. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna start with uh, this one. So um, this is the Teamer one. There's also the four color version of Rhinos. Um, I like the four color version a lot, but you know, uh, obviously the Teamer Rhinos is the most successful of the two. Uh, usually when you look at results, for example, in this four seasons, uh, top eight, there's two uh, Rhinos and they're both Teamer. Uh, no Blood Moon in the side, but you have Magus of the Moon and you have Obsidian Charmo. Uh, Blood Moon is, just disappearing more and more from modern. You do see because the most the, the biggest reason is that Blood Moon was extremely good against creativity, which is not 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 present anymore. And Magus is mostly better against Tron and Amulet Titan. And Charmo is much better against Tron and also against Urza Saga, uh, slower decks, even like Cabal Coffers, for example. Just disrupting the plan and having a 4-4 flyer is, is a big deal. Much better than Blood Moon. But yeah, outside of that, this is the classic Rhinus deck, and I'm excited to uh, give it a go. Din Dirnik, thank you for the 31st month sub. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Hope you are enjoying some Team Rhinus action. Uh, in my power rankings uh, that I uh, published last week, I put Rhinus second place behind uh, uh, Rakdos Gam. In fact, uh, this weekend at Four Seasons in the top eight, the only decks that were in two copies were both Scam and Rhinos. And then we also had Ardent Scales, Yogmoth, uh, Just Cat Control, and uh, Four Color Elementals. And you can watch these. I believe I retweeted them. So I guess we can, um, while looking for an opponent, I can uh, open the page. But yeah, if you go on Twitter, you follow me, you'll find it. So yeah, first place. Uh, they, the, the way first season works is that uh, there's a main event on Saturday Modern and a main event on, on Legacy and they just play the top eight. You don't get to play the top eight. Everyone wins the same prize. So uh, top eight, the, 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 the places are based on, on tiebreaker, on uh, rank, on standings. So he just, a lot of players went eight and one. I believe the top three went eight and one. So Hardened Scales, uh, Scam Scam, they both went eight and one. And notably, uh, Riva, which is another good friend of mine and subscriber of the channel, he was playing four not already dead because he said he listened to the podcast four not already dead, two undying malice. And then you have Rhinus, Rhinus, uh, Yogmoth, and just get control with this and the one. Okay, but Shaper, thank you for the 39 months. Woo, that's so much. Okay, round number one. I'm keeping this hand. I'm missing one land, but hopefully I draw it. Did I find a Wii of Four Seasons? I did. Okay, they are burning me. Hmm. I guess if they're burning me, I'm not gonna go stomping ground, uh, crushing footfalls. Two life from our court in there. I gotta catch a trim on the turn. Okay. Well, food, I don't go for <laughs> rolling vortex. Okay. That's a new one. When I'm displaying with fire. I don't care about suspending this anymore. I'm just gonna tap uh, 
the mountaineer. It's right to the bottom. Ooh, great draw. I'm even gave a I even gave a reason to dispute. Yeah, Varzek. I'll be in uh, I'll be in Sofia. The um, I'll be in Sofia in October. I think I'll uh, force negation this. Dago shardless. Classic three mana ten power. This is kind of like the dream, the dream draw from Rhinos. Turn two fire eyes, force of negation, ten power. Maybe I could have used force on this here in Blaze. Skewer. Remember, Flame of Honor doesn't go face, just in, just in case people might, might be new to this card. It doesn't uh, love an axe your opponent. Okay. Um, considering that I don't really change the clock with Outburst, or do I? Because I attack you, hmm. I guess it might change the clock. And I still have blocker, so I don't think I need to hold up anything anyway. So yeah, let's just do this. I'm not gonna fetch. It might matter because they go to six here. They might go to five, and then if they tap this, they go to four. I don't know. Should it matter? Playing against Burn. I'm gonna bring in Commandeer. I think I'm taking out. Hmm. I don't like Fury. I think I'm take. I'm taking out just red cards to have more blue pitch for Force of Negation and Commandeer. I think this makes sense. I think Fury is just bad. They have very few creatures. They don't play Eidolon anymore. If they played Eidolon, then maybe. That's reasonable. But... Alright, once again, I have two landers, and I think it's a keep. You can't Mulligan Harry. Okay, they suspend Rift Bull. Draw. Okay. I think I go top land, and then I can go mountain island, and then I unlock all my mana base without taking any damage. Actually, I can't go mountain with this. Hmm. One deer is mainly for the one ring, yeah, but I guess you're citing none of those matchups too. Yeah, I think Mono Black is good. It has some bad matchups, but every deck has bad matchups is modern. Now I do need to know what to pitch. Kinda wanna pitch Fire Ice. They don't really plan on going Fire Ice next turn. I just wanna make my mana here going like Buddha Foothills go and then cycle a land. I got Trium, and then I cycle an island, and I can play an outburst. The new author you want to try, the one one. 
you know how X ones are living a tough time right now in modern because of the Orkish Bowmaster. You can check my power rankings at the Channel Fireball website or a Channel Fireball uh, YouTube channel. I think I'm cascading now because they might have um, like Manathite or things like that. So I just don't have my 8 power in play. Even if this is an instant, I don't have too much to do anyway with the mana. Yeah, I think Burn, I put it like 12th or 11th, which is kind of like Burn's lot, honestly. Yeah. I, I think it was, it was always in top 15. Wow, what's that for mana? Oh, it went top one. Okay. All right, I'm at seven. Oh, bueno, muy bueno. That's good now, Commandeer. In play, 15 damage. It's okay. All right. Yeah, Merc that is good in Rhinos. I, I, I used to play two, honestly. Playing one, yeah, I used to play two, especially for the post-cyber matchups where they bring you like Chasm Void Engineer and your Explosive, you just go Merc died. Again, I net decked um, uh, my, my, my friends list who went undefeated at four season. Like, I guess Merktide is not great against Scam because they have three Terminates, but still, like, they have to terminate it. Yeah, I think Yorian uh, is going to be good in Legacy now. Like, actually, like, should be. Maybe one of the best decks with uh, the Up the Beanstalk. Up the Beanstalk. Um, it's going to push you in even further in that format. That's going to be the Will you play Up the Beanstalk in 5 color Bring to Light? Do I like the 3 color versions of Rhinos or the 4 color? I still stand by that I like four color more. I still stand by that. And for those of you who don't know, I not only made videos, but I also wrote an article about it. And to find my articles, uh, you go to Channel Fireball, you go to Modern. What's the best that, oh yeah. Yeah, Burn. You just go to my name and you'll find all the articles and should you be adding white to Team Rhinos? And all my lists are, all my uh, articles are free now, even the cyber guides and everything. I made a video with this. I like white mostly because it gives you extra threats, extra extra cascaders. But I like to play Teamer as well. Teamer is by far the most successful version of Rhinos. As in, whenever you see Rhinos players doing well in tournaments, usually they play Teamer. I think I'm keeping this hand. The two landers. Uh, I think I want to pitch. What do I want to pitch here? Yeah, just check out Channel Fireball every day if you care about content. Uh, you know, I, I I write there one or two articles a week, and my articles are free. But mostly, a lot a lot of articles are free now. Anyway, I think I'm pitching that gone. Luck counter, here we go. What get island? I think so. I think I get island here. Maybe it was risky because if I drew another Ottawa or Island I couldn't go out burst. Hmm. The other question is, do I want to tap or do I want to... I think I'm just going to go cycle, yeah. I'm going to go cycle so that I guarantee the third mana for Outburst. 
His last challenge is, yeah, but like the the, the important tournaments like uh, pre pro tour or for seasons, it's all, it's all his team are at the top. So let's see if they want to get force of negation. It's important if they do. I think they must. Yeah, they they got they got force of negation. And I'm just gonna go um, outburst in their upkeep. I need to get a, a green, a steam vents or a breeding pool. What's better? I think it's steam vents. Is that fury? I don't know. So I'm playing against the five color or four color that uh, true hero plays a lot of. Have I cast Lauren's revealed yet? Uh, for sure. Yeah, you can check out uh, plenty of my videos. I cast this card many times. I mostly just pitch this card. That's that's the biggest uh, reason why it's great. You pitch it to subtlety, commandeer, force of negation. Oh, general librarian. My legacy for season didn't go well. I uh, lost a lot. Uh, I think the meta game adapted very well to for to blue black scam. In fact, at the top it was only not only but mostly for color decks. Wow. Okay. I was lazy and didn't adapt to the meta game, assuming legacy players are also very lazy, but they weren't. And at the top, it was only for well, not again, not all, because I think like at least one blue black scam player was there. But I I played modern as well. I went uh, five one in a five one top eight in one of the modern side event on Sunday with Mona Black. She was fun. It's been a long time since uh, you know I was playing an unknown deck. Mm, I don't feel like uh, balancing the Falaji. I feel like I'm bouncing the Falaji. You can you can have it. You can ephemerate it. Okay, the Mill Teferi. Post them at least on Twitter and Instagram. It's the the mono black deck, yeah. The idea came from Nasif. I changed uh, a lot of cards. I, I won a match against uh, Four Color with Sundering Titan, which was cool. Also, Dotty Wood Walker is very good in that deck, yeah. But anyway, the, the, the Mono Black video is out, I think on, it was out on Saturday, although I made changes after that. Okay, opponent passes because they don't have a land for their Teferi. Um, so in theory, I have lethal here. Can they can they do something to prevent lethal? I guess they can go Solitude. I think I should still go for lethal here. I haven't seen Beanstalk in Legacy, no. But, you know, players are usually... I've only seen it in uh, Legacy. Modern players usually are lazier than Legacy players. Legacy players still have the each of brewing. Modern players... Uh, don't take brew. Okay. Uh, what's better here? Tapping the Falaji? Yes. Well, it's true, they did have Force of Negation. Well, I still have Lethal, so. Let's go for it. Or they even with Ephemerate now. They need another Force. And they actually have it. Wow. Uh, okay. 
We got two fours. I dead again, you get a one. If not, you get a three. Hmm. Yeah, I think one is the same than three. I know they can't fetch, but I don't think that matters. Even if they fetch, what do they do with the third mana? Like, their best draw is Gorion that costs two. Yeah, maybe I, will, I, got, I just got like super greedy. I should have just attacked them past with my million cards in hand. I just thought that I needed to have two forces and two blue cards to not die there. Even if they go Gorio, I guess they force me in. Yeah, I'm glad at least that I didn't put them to one. It, it was useless. I said I got Solitude Plains, Tainted Indulgence. That's unfortunate. Well, it's not unfortunate at all. It was very common for them to have Gorio. They didn't have lands. <laughs> what are they supposed to have in hand? They chose to not go for Atraxa last turn, which is weird, but you know, it's fine. I was mana up, that's okay, made sense. They got Tainted Indulgence? Yeah, so they draw two. Their hand is plain solid that I know of. Let's hope they don't go for uh, Plains Ephemerate. Yeah, double four is a blue card. Yeah, that was... Yeah, but we could flip around that, right? We, we just pass, and they go track some, and then I go dead gone in my opponent turn. I think, like, I, I win so easily, you know? Yeah, I definitely messed up. Let's hope they don't have another force, though. Oh, wow, they revealed force. Jeez. Oh, yeah, yeah, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they get to keep a Traxa and they have a and they found the fourth force. So they chose Force of Negation, Purity, and Swamp of Grizzle Brand, and they go to the discard. This one does not die. Unbelievable that I lost this game. Is there is there a way to win? Yeah, I guess Otawara makes me win. What else? I don't know. Doesn't help. I have to pass and then I do I want to play land I think I'll play land and then I go gone in your upkeep because you don't have double blue so you can't respond to that and I have to hope you don't have an agorio because you didn't pick it up at any point so to go ephemerate I'll let you resolve the ephemerate And then I hope you don't have another Gorio. This deck is like a week and a half. That's not true. This deck won the Mox. And then the true hero who won the Mox with this deck also top 16 the PT, being the only player playing this archetype. This deck is, uh, you know, has won a lot. It's a good deck. I put it in my top 15 uh, for the second month in a row. Okay, they kill Subtlety. They don't Ephemerate Solid Shit, that's the good news.
And then you do a gory, oh my. Okay, at least they didn't reveal a uh, ephemerate. Let's do the force of negation in end. You don't have to for your day and watch your great grief. Okay, they can grief me, I guess. The problem is that it goes to 17. Yeah, at this point, I feel like I'm losing this game. I don't know though, I'm like, I'm not conceding. I go to five, it's not over yet. Unless they go quarry on Crazy Brand, then it's over. Okay, they don't do that. So they go Alwood Fountain. Hmm. Okay, I'll get a five, you get a 14. And you have seven cards in it, among which there's a Force of Negation, Preordain, and I don't know, a bunch of stuff that I didn't write down, but should have, but, you know, still playing lazy. Draw. All right. Back you for eight. I do this, and I pass. You like preordaining that deck? Yeah, could be. Horse pitch preordain. Mm -hmm. You're a six now. Uh, you have uh, two Gorgas in the graveyard, but you didn't have one in hand last turn because you could have played it to kill me. Let's see if you have it now. Swamp. They can Arcast Solitude and survive here. I don't, I don't think I know you have Solitude in the end. You can also play a bunch of Faithful Man and survive, I guess. All right, let's see what they do here. Blue White. They flash back Faithful Man thing. Okay. Again, hoping they don't draw Goria. Because if they do, it's over. And they don't. Okay. Alright, here's Goria, though. So, I guess I need to topic if I want to win this game. Because otherwise it's seven damage. Wow, opponent can save themselves at one life here. All right, let's stop deck now. I've a lot of outs, so let's just draw it. Boom. Top deck. Oh wow, yes, solid chicken upkeep. Okay. All right, then I wasn't going to win anyway, but I can now draw a Force of Negation, I guess. Oh, actually, I got a nine here, so I don't die to uh, an Atrax or a Grizzly Brand attack. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I don't have lethal, but I don't die on their attack, so I'm continuing to play until I die. But they go to four and they lose their phalagi. The worst thing is if they go Gory on a Traxa, find a new Gory. Actually, they don't have a Trax in the graveyard, I just noticed. 
Huh. They must have exiled all of them. Yeah, you can check my opponent deck. I, I, I made two videos with it. I guess one isn't out yet, but I, I've played that deck a lot. Okay, Grizz a Brand. I get a two, you get a ten. It's okay. Yeah, so you have three attracts exiled. And then what? You ephemerate Grizzabrand. Okay. I guess I need to top deck again. Otawara, that gone, fire ice. Yeah, Otawara, that gone, fire ice. Boom. Poseju? Doesn't do it. Yep. I think I lost. I win only if they block shardless, which I doubt they will. Yeah, they didn't. They did not block shardless. All right, I want to say that I, I battled. I battled a lot. Uh, maybe, maybe if I didn't uh, go all in on that turn, I would have won this game. Playing more patiently could have paid off. I was probably impatient, which, uh, yeah, it's part of the game. Okay, all right, I'll take a bathroom break. I'll come back for the sideboard here. All right. Let's sideboard. We have four endurance. We probably have subtlety as well as my opponent plays with Teferi. They don't play ring. I don't like Quest and Beast. Bone Crusher also out. Flum of Honor can also go out. What about that Gons? I guess I can cut one. Or do I want to cut Gemstone Cavern on the play? Why do I have all these dead Gons? That Gons doesn't do much. Hmm. I guess it can save me though. It can save the combo. The one commandeer. I guess kind of commandeer for a Teferi. Oh, I don't think about Magus. They have three basics they showed me. I'll mulligan this hand. Maybe, maybe I should have mulligan this hand. I got turn one footfalls, turn two footfalls, and I force some negation. Oh, I'll mulligan this hand, yeah. I kept seven. I'll keep this hand, but it's like not good. I think I'll turn one Mutavolt, because I want to keep Dispute for countering the Fairy. So just on turn on turn two, I'll attack for two here. I guess I'll play Fire Ice. Demon step. Darcy Demon is untapped, of course. And tap the uh, watery grave. Yes, uh, Demon wasn't the best land to fetch for. I'll go for a breeding pool and I'll suspend footfalls. And pass, because I want to keep up this Puton Teferi. Hmm. 
Mm, they don't fetch. Interesting. I mean, I'm missing the third land for Teferi. They play the Tanted Indologist. I think I'm going to dispute it. I think they don't have a third land. Yeah, game one, it showed me their deck. Yeah, Teferi. Hey, do I attack? Unfortunately, I didn't uh, fetch up the right lands. Now, I don't think two damage matters. When it plays a spell, I want to tap three for force. Oh, they just pass. Playing around my counters makes sense. My crushing footfalls is stacking up counters. My dead gons are coming now. If they play a spell end of turn, do I want to force a negation it? Like the faithful Mandin. In matter of this, I think so. I think I like to counter the enablers. Fortunately, now I can't do much, but at the same time, my opponent can't really. Like, surely they can go tracks in the graveyard reanimated, but I think that's just hard. Ooh, it might happen actually now. This card tracks, huh? Okay, they don't have Swamp Gloria, thankfully. Yeah, fetching up that steam is so costly, it's crazy. <sighs> Alright, pass the turn. Okay. I think I'll go subtlety. It doesn't do much, but at least they start to attack. Next turn I put 11 power in play. If I draw green source. I can have endurance up. Put it at the bottom. Let's see. I need. I either need a green source or a green card. Okay. Footfalls comes out. It's very important to suspend it and not to hold it. Wow. Force of negation. Okay. You pitch the tracks. And attack for five. Okay, they go solitude pitch ending. Oh wow, you got femorate. I think I'll go dead gone. This opens the door for a Warrior's Vengeance because they don't have double green up. But I think this makes sense. Last turn they went for Palaji when they could have gone Gloria, so you know that's why I'm going for dead gone there. Yeah, Dark Sade, that makes sense. They go top bottom, plays on Gregorio. Gloria. Ay ay ay. That's the problem with Ephemerate. It doesn't go to the graveyard like Feign Death. Otherwise, Endurance could have got him. It just blinks it, so I had to kill it if I wanted to. I could have also just played around Gorio. I don't know. My opponent got Teferi, Falaji, Godless Shrine, Ephemerate, and the S5 cards. Alright, I'll concede. Hmm. I feel like both games, maybe I could have done better. I mean, I certainly misplayed on the fetch land. 
I don't know how much would have mattered there. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked with a uh, mute vault. Maybe. Round three against the J. Clus. Hard to, hard to say those names. I don't even know what's my opponent avatar. Alright, this is like the most medium end possible to keep, I think. Because like, you have uh, lands and cascaders. You're missing all the interactions. Do you go turn one right They scam me? Alright, I got lands then. That's Aragorn the Unifier. Okay. I got lands. And another one. Okay, so they do play a uh, Blood Moon. So at the very least, uh, I should fetch uh, Island Forest here. At the very least. It's not Rock the Scam. It is a scam strategy combined with uh, probably Gorio. Gorio, Emrakul, Yargo. I would say that's my opponent deck. I guess I shouldn't have fetched for Forest. In my mind, though, in my mind, I was set on fetching from Forest. And... Where is the trophy? Uh, it's up there. Usually I bring the trophy up only after I trophy on a Magic Online League. But this morning, this is my first league, so no trophies behind me. That grieves me again. Joke's on you, opponent. I only got lands. The jokes are on you. Maybe they're on me since I only have lands. I pitched Orkish Bowmaster. Okay. Oh, you can give another one. The double pair. I point with a double pair. That's okay. Let's just draw a Shardless Agent. Huh? That'll be easy. I draw a Shardless Agent, I win the game. But one card I can do with. There are three, there are six cards. I guess there was only one shardless agent in my deck, two shards in my deck. But one of them, he's right here. Boom, shardless. No. Okay. Mm, I guess now I don't have outs. So I go to three, and then I don't have menace. I can't, I can't block all their cards. All right. Duran seeds. So my opponent is playing Girls of Saga for sure because they played a cookbook. <sighs> Could I play also Ragavan? So I want to have anti. anti. I like how first negation. I think my opponent's playing a uh, Gore is Vengeance, though. I guess I can trim. Yeah, the Buddha Foot is in this list, honestly. Like, you have two islands in this deck, and your deck wants to get double blue. I did bring in for um, endurance this game, so I'll be fetching for a Ketra Triumvir. Mm. 
Oh no, would they scam me again? Put a subtlety to grief. Why didn't I do that? I guess I clicked zero. Yeah, that was an awful mistake. Hmm. It click yield until end of turn for no reason. But that's okay. Oh, no, no, not great, not great. I would have subtlety that point would put it on top and then do it again next turn. But they need another another black card, so uh, I'm not even sure how good that would have been, because I just lose everything at that point. So maybe it's not the worst. Let's keep on playing here. Draw. Gems on cover. There's only a one of in this list. I need to mark title or shard list. They must have like another thought seeds or a chalice or something. I don't know though, because it is kind of this. Hmm. We'll see. Sixteen. What's their plan here? That's it. Yeah, it was Chalice. That's great. And Totsy. All right. Yeah. If I just meet a uh, subtlety that could have, like, at the very least, a uh, grief pitch thoughts is into the same play. So I think it wasn't that big of a deal. All right. I have one card left. Fire Ice. Yeah, I guess I'll go for it. Before they can draw another, cast another protection spell. one card in the end and it's a cookbook all right so they got nothing here and that question is do i just play side at the end of turn i think so there were 14 there were 13 just playing a 33 flyer Playing a 3 3 flyer. Yeah, I think making the bringing in Force of Vigor makes sense. They have probably Urza Saga in their deck and Chalice now. So, yeah. Should have brought it in. So, I can destroy the Chalice if I want to. Or it can draw me two cards as well. wonder what's better. I don't have any more Merc Dots, I'm just passing here. I draw two cards in the turn if nothing happens. I might draw Cascaders that I can't cast, but I think that's the best mode right now. Hoping that I'll go for an Orkish Bow Master. That would kill my subtlety. Alright. That's good. More subtleties. It's just a pump spell. Again, if I just destroyed the chalice, I wouldn't be able to draw this. I would have drawn this and then. Nice little top land and the end and I go in subtlety. 
End of turn. Mm hmm. They draw landed safer. I guess they can gain three life for the cookbook. Or I'll cast that. Second for six. Oh, yeah. No reason to pump because they just can't survive by discarding the card. Slurin's revealed. And draw three. Red, black, Ragavan Dash. Okay. Still not getting the cookbook package. They didn't draw Saga, you know, any anything that makes me think they're playing cookbook for a reason. Are they dead? They're not dead on board, but they are to my outburst. So just attacking, they gain three life, and then I play a pump spell and win. Yeah, well, actually, you know at the beginning of the game where, where I said it was a big mistake, and some of you probably quit by that time? Well, actually, I think it turned out to be the right play. To not uh, settle to the grief. Sometimes some plays are obvious, but uh, yeah, I like to be result oriented and see how the game ended up being it for so that in one more spot you can decide. That it's not as obvious that you should settle to the grief. You should just think about it a bit more. Because if your hand doesn't do anything the next turn, there's going to go grief the next turn anyway. So, you know, you just lost two cards and they lost two cards as well. But you basically lost four. This is what I wanted to say. Okay, so I'm definitely bringing in the dead guns. Oh, and I think I'm cutting the forces of negation for some forces of vigor. I might also want Bone Crusher on the draw to kill the Ragavan. Ah, Fury is good. I can't, I can't cut Fury. Can I cut a Violent Outburst? I can't. Yeah, I'll cut off. Very nice. Game three, and I think I'm taking a mulligan because my hand doesn't have lands. All right, this one does. That's a keep. Uh, what if I bought him Lauren's Revealed? Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, wow, they don't scam you turn one. That's a first. Let's see if this can be on turn two. Nope, that's just the thoughtsies. Alright. No bit of summer is in our deck. The thoughtsies resolves. You take shardless. Okay. Wow, no second land. Crazy. I think I'm a Lawrence Reveal believer for so far. We'll see how the game continues. But if we draw like another land, I can easily expect to art cast this by turn five. Because my hand is very reactive. I 
I don't play around blood moon my opponent. I can't expel my opponent if you have it. Wow, they just pass again. Okay. Good stomping ground. Basic island to art cast up. Everything. Okay, good. Mapia capital one is revealed then. Another Disco spell. We got Chalice of the Void. Uh huh. And they pass again. Cool. Nice. Uh, do I want to play Force of Vigor now? I think so. I don't have anything else to do. I'll just go Force of Vigor and then the word is revealed. Basically what Rhinus needs to do, it's that Rhinus needs like things to do in the post-cyber game where your opponent disrupts you with like chalice and explosives and such. And then they go to discard. Good morning, Uncle. Hmm. I think he's happy to go Lawrence Revealed. The basic island. Next. And go. Turn six, my opponent has one Malakir Meyer. And they have also one cookbook. Yep. Keeping up my endurance, my subtlety, my outbursts. No reason for me to cycle this. There's a saga. Oh, Cookstron, did you check out the podcast? We have a podcast, me, Javier, and Anthony Lee, and we talk about uh, things. And this this time it was about um, the impact of the new set. When it goes Asmo, I think I'm happy to settle with that. And then should I cycle the Lawrence revealed? Probably not. Uh, I guess. And if I don't draw a spell, I'm probably happy, right? Is there a world where I don't draw a spell? Well, it puts it on top, by the way. Is there a world where I don't draw a spell and I'm sad? I guess I'll uh, Karsh and Footfalls. Shardless now. Effects oh, Eve. Very good. Or Seasons, uh, to me, it's the best uh, magic event. I get to play Paper Legacy and Paper Modern. I know so many people that I only see there. Uh, Fury evoked. Uh, yeah, that works. But Poppergeddon? Nah, it's worse. <laughs> worse than first season. Why Shardless? Oh, Shardless is two more damage. I think that's relevant. 
If I need to endurance, I can do that regardless, right? What do I want to do here? Double, um, uh, double dead gone or, or, uh, endurance. I think I'd rather use endurance than double dead gone. Yeah. I guess not really, because they can just reanimate something next turn. Yeah, I'll go for double dead gone. I just realized that earlier I said that I could position my own shardless. You cannot do that on my channel line. One is a 15. I can attack for 9. I attack for 12 if I want to, but I don't think I want to. I don't think that matters, so I'm just passing now. I think it's important to hold into us because I could have died to, I don't know, a random uh, Emrakul, I guess. No, not really. Not even from Emrakul. They go discard a card, play Asmo. I can kill one thing, I'm just gonna put two more, and that game is gonna end. All right. Okay, round number four. Uh, it's a keep. Maybe I'll turn one catcher trium. I think it's gonna be very unlikely that I cycle it. Especially since I wanna probably just R cast this lower and reveal and not cycle it. If that's a random six, nope. All right. Okay, let's go jam. Let's see if they if I get matched by a spell peers. That might be creativity. You know spell peers? Ooh. It's that reprieve. Yeah, 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 that's annoying. It's like spell boost but draws a card. Yeah, very annoying. But Shorts can attack the fairy, so at least uh at least we got that. Ooh, great draw. So here I can go Force, Pitch, Flame of Anwar, Kill the Fairy. Yeah, if the Shardless was not a Shardless, I would have lost this game 100%. And then I can go Shardless. And then I can go Forest, Crushing Footfalls. I 
You don't need a green pitch in your hand. Just need blue pitch. Let's see if they go for creativity. Let them buy new results. Yeah, five cards in end. Pop with Rhino. If I draw land, I can play around Spell Pierce. That'd be nice. But I don't. So yeah, let's just hope they don't have Spell Pierce. I'm definitely jamming. Can't play around much. And then I'll pass here because I might pitch one Lorian and the other one, if I draw land, I cast it. Yep, that's unfortunate. Prime six, no problem. We can't fight over that. I'm very tempted to just cycle this. Then cast Lauren's Revealed next turn. I guess change of plans now. I'm just uh, playing outburst and holding up force pitch. Lauren's revealed around spell peers. Yeah, I'll go for it now. I think it's one extra damage in my matter. Got a reprieve. All right. I don't think I want to suspend this. Hopefully the game will be over in four turns. Yeah, this one has two counters on it. We suspended it on turn four when they reprieved it. Okay, there are three now. I go for creativity. Let's hope they don't have a. I don't know what, honestly. Yeah, nothing. Are they dead? Yeah, they should be dead. Exactly lethal. As you saw, the damage from the outburst mattered a lot. It's hard to say when they matters and when it doesn't. But it did matter and we won because of that. So that's cool. Fury's bad in this matchup, so is Bone Crusher. I think I like these blue cards. I don't like any of the others. Magus just dies too easily. I don't think it's impactful enough. Uh, yeah, I think I like the dead gones. When I combo deck relies on targeting in a 1 1, so I want to keep all the dead guns. Keep. Reveal Jimson Cover. How do I pitch? Scully Tarn. Pitch Scully Tarn. Go.
suspend and top land go. Another question is, do I want to jam Sharpless? I think I'm not. I think I'm not doing it. Up end of turn. And now they can't... Uh... You know, they can't play Reprieve on my Shardless. That's okay, I don't mind. Wow. Okay. I've been silenced. One copy. Or one counter I meant. Then I'll play an untapped land so that I can hard cast the dispute on creativity. Uh, playing around the um, spell tears. Next turn, hopefully, I don't get silenced again. A bit of summer here. They do. Hmm. They play oust. That's uncommon. Oust. Okay, you got uh, some some outs. Tawara, that gone. Yeah, there's a world where I draw land that gone. Okay, on the play now. Oh. It's okay. You want to cut gems and caverns for a bone crusher giant. You like minus for dead gone plus four endurance sees people. That's interesting. I just find that gone to be a very good interaction piece. Like if I had it this game, it was it was great. It would have been great this game. Instead of mystical dispute. Mm, I don't like Magus of the Moon. In this matchup.
Okay. I'm missing the Cascade spell, but I don't think I can mulligan this hand. I want to tap that land. I don't think I do. Reason being, I don't have a Cascade spell to to do much with it. So might as well uh, hold the Fire and Ice for next turn. Where it actually matters. So I can stop them from casting out uh, Tefir or Fable and such. I haven't seen Preordain. Let's see if I draw a land so that I can go Charles plus Dispute. Draw. Land. Nice. Um, my opponent has Spell Pierce for sure. Death Last Storm is annoying. Yeah, I think I'm just going for Steam Vents here. Yeah. But I have plus the spell piece and not plus the storm. Especially since they have silence. I can't have silence and plus the storm, right? Yeah. Alright, so now I have to hope they don't go exactly fetch link or TBT. Which they could. I guess I have that dawn in that case. Yeah, yeah, could be a creativity. Six cards in hand. It is. Hmm. Still in the game here. Any Hammer content in common? You can check out my content on uh, YouTube. Uh, I definitely made a lot of Hammer content. Uh, let's go gone. Land. And now I have to hope you don't have another Archon, I guess. Or rather, another Creativity, I guess. Okay, that's a good start. Huh. They're almost dead. There are two life. Bro. Ooh. That's leaks. Okay, Ooh, that was cool. GG's. One on exact cards, and I'm very happy to have that gone in this matchup. I'm pretty sure I always said to, um, to leave in that gone in this matchup, even. Uh, Long time ago. I remember even before the PT when I was uh, you know helping the Team World the Council, I had a Rhinos build with three Magus in the sideboard, no Blood Moon, because I felt like the Rhinos matchup, the Creativity matchup was okay, and you wanted to improve the Tron matchup instead. Oh, Mulligan does end. 
I think I'm okay in keeping the like five lands to do spells, but the two spells need to be very good, and those ones were not. Okay, now on the play, I think I'm bottoming Gemstone Cavern. It is risky because I only have two landers, but I'm also missing Cascade spells. I'm just missing a lot. And I think that, you know, if I had a Cascade spell, then maybe I would have kept the, the land. If I had a Cascade spell. Yeah, Mutavolt is was worth the the player I that deck from, uh, who went to undefeated at four seasons said he did that four or five times, and it was always amazing. Obviously, you know he runs super hot. But I guess that's what you need if you wanna uh, win a tournament of Magic. I'm getting Island here. And then I tap your Hollywood font. Right now, my regret having uh, bought from the land over that gone. Was a big deal to cast outburst. Ooh, they also didn't have a third land. Interesting. You go to discard. Wow. I might also go to discard if I if I break. Oh, it's another Gorio deck. And cast outburst. I guess I couldn't have cast outburst with the with the other land anyway. Okay. Tawara's a uh, fine draw there, I suppose Skittles. I can draw two cards with a flame of honor. Ooh, you go grief. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have get Basic Island with Lauren's Reveal. That's true. I've gotten a dual land to cast Outburst, but I don't think I had Outburst at that time anyway. A million of response, they can't play Ephemerate. And I guess they can play two Ephemerate in theory, but... All right, draw two cards in the turn. I put eight cards. Esper, yeah, we played around, we played against that deck. Uh, that was our loss with three one, we, we lost to Trax, our animator. I think, at least. What is deep in the tank there? Oh, because they can go Gorium? Uh, I don't like that. I mean, I guess they could. What do I do if they go Gorium? Yeah, Tasa can, uh, Tom of Honor can target your opponent. That's true against the grinding station, Tasa's Oracle. All right, they're about to cast Goria, it looks like. Yeah, I put my opponent deck in the par ranking. I think it's like 11th. I think it's very good, but it's just underplayed, so I can't put it too high, you know? But I think it's very good, I agree. 
All right, now I should probably play. Oh, wow, that one. Okay, no, that one's fine. I don't mind that one. Mm -hmm. Draw. Hmm. Nice. And go. Is each the mirror work in scape shift? Maybe. No, that card is very, very high power. I was excited to pick up a playset last week in real life. I don't know if I'll ever play it, but uh, that seems like a very powerful card. Okay, opponent is playing something. Is that grief? Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to go outburst in response. Uh, do we get basic forest? No, nah, let's get steam vents. And pass. This is the same hand before grief. That's true. I drew the outburst that was discarding and a flame of honor that I cast. Whoa, did I just get force of vigor? That was unex unexpected. Let's see if they go for a subtle a sol a solitude. More outbursts. Mm -hmm. Uh do I want to play Dead Gone? No, because they want to still be able to play a new Valent Outburst. And if they ephemerate the grief, I don't care. It's a 3-2. It's very mild. I want to keep up multiple counter spells against their uh, combo deck. Okay. They played a version with Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Earlier, my opponent didn't have that. And this is very meaningless at this point. And this is over at this point. The opponent uh, thought his bug got thoughts is bugged. They discarded a Valent Outburst, and that fact conjured the two copies of Valent Outburst on top of my deck. Shouldn't have done that, opponent. They discarded Dead Gone, I would have drawn two more Dead Guns. Maybe that was the right play, actually. Grief the strongest creature in modern. No, I mean, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. Uh, strongest creature in modern and Andy Legacy is uh, Orkish Bowmaster. Because they're the strongest spell in modern and Legacy. No, Legacy is different for sure, but in modern maybe it's Lightning Bolt. Not even. I think it's just strongest card in modern is Orkish Bowmaster. All right. Uh, I'll have four Endurances. I'll tap the Furies and Bone Crusher. I'm all good deer. Mm -hmm. It's not great. I can just bring in Subtlety because it's a blue pitch. As I made a 62 by mistake. I was supposed to cut a Subtlety and said I added it. Alright. I guess that didn't hurt my lens and spell ratio apparently which is still solid for spell for lens three spells mojo nobini how am i great first day of the week had a wonderful weekend put them all to five I could hold up red in case they go for grief. But like it probably I don't know. Two life might not matter, so maybe I was supposed to just go fetch land. That was safer.
and the Trium Island. Okay. I'll tap your land in upkeep. I have endurance in my deck, so I think I'm gonna go forest. End of turn. Ooh. The special end of turn hinted indulgence. Discarded Gorium. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, I'll go with Forest to uh, tap your uh, Dryad. And then I'll just land go. I did not see Teferi game one. Ooh, when it passes. Now, do I want to jam? I don't think so. I go counter spell. Uh... I'll jam. If they go counter spell, I might just accept it. We'll see. I might just accept it if they go counter spell. Just jam again in my turn. Let's see. So do this veto. Oh, Reprieve? I don't like Reprieve. Oh, no, I don't, I don't like that one, because that one can't trips. If it was just Spell Pierce, maybe I could have accepted, but I can't accept that. I have to fight. Now I deal uh, two extra damage. Hoping you didn't have a Supreme Verdict. Yes, I could have played around that. But this way you can't like kill a token and survive or things like that. Also like the, this way I play around the second outburst. Like that gong checking up if everything is okay. From my hand. All right, there goes Solitude. And then Ephemerate it. Mm -hmm. But it ends up surviving here, seems like. Because they go to one. With your Rhinos attacks. Let me uh, shock untap first. And then did. And then attack. I go to one. Two cards in end. That one's gone. And we win. All right, four one. Cool. Again, the loss was maybe avoidable. Um, do I like this list? I don't know. I think I played two Merktides somehow. But it's very difficult to build this deck because, like, there's um, yeah, it's just so many playables. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, leave a comment. If you watch on YouTube, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.